All right, about a month ago, I was at a car show, and uh, a guy was cleaning up some uh, a property, and there's a machine that he has. You know, this is what's left of a garage here. He said a couple of old VW buses were there. And at one point, we thought one was a splitty, but it ended up not being the case. But there's this one here, which I believe this one's a 71 camper, and then a 72 uh, seven-passenger. So, uh, he didn't want to just scrap them out and, and throw them away. And uh, he contacted me and said, you know, you may want to take a look at them. When I looked at them, of course, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty much like that. So, um, I said, I really don't want the buses themselves, but um, I wouldn't mind picking parts off of it. This one still has the motor in it. And uh, Bug really loves that camera, don't it? Look at it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, today's adventure is uh, to see what I could pick off of. Come on now. Pick off of these two suckers and uh, load up my, my trailer with. So, he had a, a kid come and um, pick all the stuff out of them. They were full. The guy did like a uh, electronics repair, but in like the 70s. So, you know, all that. it was full of all that kind of stuff. I. Uh, had some other pieces stored in here. Unfortunately, they threw them out too. There was a couple of split window um, front headlights and stuff that we had in the back, and unfortunately, they trashed that. So this is kind of the before. Yeah, this one's a 72. <laughs> If you could smell it now. I think they got the engine open. Well, that would be a 1700. Probably just take the carbs off of that. We really don't have a use for that motor. Okay, I figure I'd get something out of them. Uh, I need a windshield. Uh, I want that motor out of that. Take that stock radio out of there. It is an AM FM. And you know, just plain picking. Picking, I tell you. Chrome is a deluxe. Got a radio on this one too. Keys in this one too. That's cool. Does that mean if I take the doors and stuff, I'll have all the all the key pieces. Well, enough talking. I think it's time to to get to getting on this thing. Start getting all the little bits and pieces off of it and start filling up that trailer. One thing I wanted to show you. Kind of creepy. Again, this is where the garage was. And it looks like he was digging up the property. And uh, found this. So I would say that's a gravestone that you dig up. So hopefully, I don't find any bones and I'm in the process of jacking the thing up. I also dug up this old bike, too. Pretty neat looking, huh? Alright, back in a minute. Alright, I cut that seal out of the windshield. Let's see if I can get that out of there. I don't have a helper today. My helper went and got a job. What's wrong with it? So we're on our own.
Been in there. The sticker says 1983 was the last time I was inspected. Well, I think that's going to fight me a little bit. I am going to go and try to take a blade on the inside and, and cut some around the inside. Hey, just more slicing on the inside. I think we're good to go. Now, as long as they don't trip, we'll be good. We'll get rid of the uh, straggler here. I almost get trip over a root. I have an army blanket I'm gonna wrap that up in. I wanna show you something though. I've never seen this before. I don't know if it's a uh, aftermarket or what. I open this door. Check out the armrest that's on this thing. Again, I've never seen that before. It's on there pretty good. Usually just there's a little pad that's on there. Well, I'm gonna continue on. I'm probably gonna start um, ripping everything of the, of the dash out of there. It's probably my best bet. But might even be able to get it kind of like in one assembly, you know? So I'm not gonna film every little bit of this because it'll be a nine hour long video and we have like, <coughs> we got like uh, 35 minutes on this camera, so. Uh, I'm gonna get to work and I'll turn these back on a little bit later. We'll get some progress done Well, I'd say about um, eh, halfway done. I've been probably picking at it for about two hours now and uh, Got it out the front pretty good As you can see it's a slight bit of stuff missed in Found a couple of sets of keys for it, which were good Getting to the point where I'm kind of working my way to the back. Miscellaneous. Some interior parts. I'm going to keep the seats and the, the mats good. A couple of the, paint, the pieces in the front, little kick panels. I can uh, re-glue the, the black on them probably. Uh, and then there's the whole dash. Assembly came out as one piece. It's face down right now. but. Uh, Yeah, kind of get the idea. The slider, I'm not gonna bother taking, I don't think. Uh, it's pretty rough on the bottom. I don't know if I wanna just pick some pieces out of it or just bother, not bother with it. Uh, the driver's door was good. I ended up having to saws that off. Saws off that off. This door's kind of punky. I'm thinking about just taking maybe the lock out of it. Right there, because I have the key for it. Then uh, I have a couple of these already. And um, so I just kind of took the um, the accoutrements off of it. It had like a, there's a vent pipe that goes up and a pump and some other pieces. And then I've been, you know, nailing all the handles. That door slid off. This door came off. I may take the table and then I'm looking at that uh, power outlet over there. So we're getting there. But, it, you know, it's just so nasty. It was worth really kind of keeping. 10 years from now, I'll look back at this video and kind of wish I took everything uh, when bay windows are now worth a mint. But for now, I'll be happy with the hoard I get. So I want to get this, um, I just ripped that, the hatch off of it, that shot. Yeah, I got to see if I can get that pan out of there and then uh, see if I can start unhooking the motor 
And I think what we're going to do is we're going to just make the excavator, either we're going to pick it straight up or we're going to just tip it on its side. We'll get the motor out, possibly the trans, and see what it looks like when we get it uh, in that condition. I wasn't able to turn the motor, but I don't expect I should because of all the crap that's on it. And uh, I have no clear idea whether this motor was any good or not. Could be why it was parked, who knows. But I figure for all the bits and pieces that are on it, although they look like trash, uh, maybe worth taking it out of there, you know. And the rear hatch was good, so I decided to take the hatch. There's the hatch. And the driver's door. <laughs> and I guess the um the guy that was hired to clean the property out is the one who contacted me to get rid of the buses and there's an old man that lives in the house. And I guess they've been arguing about who's paying for what as far as the um the propane tanks and stuff. I really didn't want to get in the middle of that. Here's the guy show what I'm talking about. Lose that pile of stuff over there. And uh, so they had words. So I ended up paying the guy that uh, is cleaning the property out, and he was hired to get rid of these also. And uh, then after he left, the old man came out. And he tried to get money off of me too. I said, I, I paid Dave. And he walked away. I think he was just trying, you know. He didn't try hard, but you know, he still tried to get money out of me. And then after that, he said, uh, don't take any parts off of uh, that bus. Not that there's really anything I kind of really need on that. Uh, I would have picked parts off of it, but we'll see how that works out when uh, the, uh, when Dave comes back and uh, they have words again and say, well, that's not what the agreement was, etc., etc." But for now, I'm staying out of it. Sometimes it's just the way that, that stuff goes, you know. That's fine. I got my money's. I'm getting my money's worth out of it. I should say, as long as I can get that motor too, I think I should be fine. Um, I was at the VW show over the um, weekend, and uh, somebody wanted the pop top off of it. Uh, it's kind of rough. I have a feeling I'm going to leave it behind. I'll flip it up and see how hard it is to take off. I may do that, but. Uh, I'm by myself, so it can be a job that might be a little bit of a pain. Literally, you know. So. Alright, well, I'm going to go shut this back off again, and I'm going to keep whittling away and uh, get my fair share out of this one. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright. I decided to break the jack out and wait for him to uh, show up to run the machine and uh, see it was an 84, 94, 2004, 2004, 30, 30 years, 31 years it's been sitting in this spot and it's on its last ride so I had a, um, a trailer hitch underneath it which was a pain in the ass to get off and uh, the bumper I just cut the brackets on the bumper Cut that out of the way. So now it's uh, up on the jack and we got a log underneath it. I want to see if I get the uh, two, um, there's two bottom motor bolts. I already got the one on the back over here and from underneath you, you have to get one there and um, two on the bottom that I can get. The two, it's got motor mounts here. The tops are already off. I'm going to try getting the bottoms free uh, off the mustache bar. And uh, then it'll just kind of be sitting in there, except for one bolt. But if, I figure if I can get him to flip it on its side, or even partly on its side, I can get up under there. Because all the shit that's over here, it's kind of, I couldn't jack it on that side. To get that last bolt out of the way. And I definitely don't want to be climbing underneath there too far. So. Would I do it again? <laughs> no, it's not worth it. But uh, I'm in it. Might as well keep moving forward. I get the motor out of the way. I might even actually look at the gas tank too. I think I might need the gas tank. So we'll see. We'll make it pay for us.
and home crap home. And uh, we even got him to throw in that um, whatever that is of a bike in uh, whatever condition it is. Kind of looks like uh, when the American Pickers dug up that Indian. <laughs> kind of about the same condition. I think it's a Schwinn. But I like those gauges on it. It's probably the best part. So anyway, here's my windshield. Uh, we get the pads, the wiper motor, bunch of uh, hardware there, bunch of hardware here. And it's like I'm dragging a strap. And uh, uh, Dave came back and tried talking to the old guy about picking stuff off the other one and um, he was adamant that I offered him $200 just for that motor. That motor, yeah, $200 for that. I'm like, yeah, come on, you really think I would offer you $200 and have to go pull that motor out of there? And uh, he says he has another buyer for the other one. I think the guy is just in money troubles and uh, he's 89 years old and uh, you don't argue so much over something like that. And I didn't, I just left it and pretty much said, I go, that's not what the deal was. If, it, if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't do it. Um, but so be it, I was already into it this far. So here's all my stuff, I own it and it's home. So uh, now we just gotta go stash it in uh, that other uh, parts bus Westie. And it is parts for the double cab and parts for the Westie I have out back someday. Right, Lily? And uh, stay tuned. Next week's project, we'll do, get into doing some welding. And this is what we're gonna be working on. Is a Jeep with a rotted frame. And the uh, tranny's hanging down. So we are gonna go and uh, do a repair video on that more than likely. Hi right, guys, well I am going to go take a shower because I am a, a dirty boy and I go clean up and get myself a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe. Take care. Come. Chica. Chica. Yay! Hey, right, just for shits and giggles, I figured I'd go grab myself a screwdriver and see. See if it will turn. It would not turn by hand in the front. I can't get under it. It flexed. Seems like it's moving a hair. The hair's not a bad sign. That would just mean the jugs are uh, all goobered up. So we'll get into it and see what we got. But, uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, just a little bit more. We'll take a look at that bike. It says it's a Hartford. And it was a high end bike when it was made because I've never seen a bike. That's a speedo, but that's a clock. I've never seen a bike with a clock built into it. And then it had the tanks on it, and that would have been a horn. Yeah, she's a, a little crunchy. And this was underground. So I think it's going to end up being a wall hanger. I do like that front end, though. 
<laughs> the needles are gone. All right, you can stay in there. And the front forks is probably about the only part that's possibly sal salvageable. It kind of looks like almost like a Schwinny kind of fork, a solid, a solid cast fork. Yeah. Yeah, they might be hollow. Hmm. Have to go look that up. It's got a cool tail light too. Another one there. Alright, now I'm shutting down, I promise. <laughs>